Welcome to yet another segment of um, Legends of Nollywood. You know, I, I'm excited. I'm excited because um, we are seeing. You are seeing me. And I'm seeing you. <laughs> you're wondering how I'm seeing you. Because I know you're just smiling and you're excited because it's a new dawn. Uh, you're excited because um, uh, truly that which you requested for is being done again. Uh, yes, I, I go according to what your emails are, according to what your phone calls and your text messages are. I go by them and I have been able to achieve that and that's why I am excited and that's why I am smiling because you make me thick and you make me important. I say thank you. Thanks a million for doing that uh, for us. It is Legends of Nollywood. I have not changed my name. My name is still Paul or Basile. But before I bring you my special guest today, let me go shopping. Don't touch your guy. No, but you said you want to go no, home. No, no, no. Stand up and go home. No. I said stand up and go home. You still want to go home, man? You want to go home? 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 This is my daughter-in-law. Your daughter-in-law? Yes, my daughter-in-law. In any case, if she is your daughter-in-law here, I guess I'll be seeing her at the club. Linda, excuse me. Legends of Nollywood, a celebration of Africans' best. Ha! Welcome back, Legends of Nollywood. Uh, we are here to do something. You know, when you are caught in the act, it's either pants down or hands up. We are going to do caught in the act by a seasoned writer, a seasoned director, a seasoned actor. A man that has put in more than 10 years in Nollywood. My brother, my friend, from the same place with me. You requested for him and he's here, live and direct. Charles Inuji. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. How far? I tight, I tight. I don't understand you. You <laughs> should be caught in the act. How, how, how? Kese? Commit the catch in the act, <laughs> you are caught in the act. <laughs> <laughs> give us give us a little sneak preview into what the story is like. Oh yes, uh, caught in the act uh, is a story of a twin as played by uh, one of Nollywood's very best, Genevieve Nanji. Uh, a twin who have uh, uh, a very sharp distinction in the opposite, as it were. Uh, whereas one is a loving, caring uh, mother, happily married, the other is a club girl. If you like, a criminal more or less, because of the kind of people she hangs out with. Uh, it happens that uh, the daughter of one of the twins uh, was kidnapped, and uh, the twin to her mother is a member of the kidnap, uh, kidnap gang. So when she got, she arrived at the place where she was supposed to be kept, that is the uh, captive now, she was surprised. Mom, why are you doing this to me? I mean, why? Are you? So the uh, <laughs> gang member was surprised. Who is this? I don't know you. Why stop calling me mom? I don't know you. Mom, I, I don't like this. Why are you doing this to me? So. Uh, she carried on like that until the gang member decided to have a private time with her. Listen, I don't know what pranks you're playing. I'm not your mother. I don't have a child. He said, no, mom, you cannot deny it. You are my mother. I mean, you cannot tell me that you're not my mother. Uh, 
so and so person is uh, my dad will leave so and so place. So she became very worried. Uh, what happened was that uh, at birth, the, there were issues uh, in the hospital which led to the separation of the twins and they went their different ways. The, uh, their mother was made to believe that she had just a child. A, a child. And of course, as fate would have it, uh, things start playing back much later in their lives, uh, which uh, necessitated their reunion in the very uh, end of the story. Uh, that's about the much we will be willing to give out now so that uh, we don't tell you the whole story and you don't have luck to <laughs> Um, um, in the course of your shoot, you did um, spend some thoughts. How much um, uh, did you spend shooting this movie? Well, naturally, uh, a movie that has a top rate uh, artist like, in the caliber of a Genevieve Vinland would already stand out as uh, a high budget movie because uh, uh, her fee alone is almost like a low budget for some other movies. <laughs> 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 so that's it. Of course, not uh, forgetting that uh, you also had such a uh, top rate at actors in, in the person of uh, Naso Diobi. Uh, we had uh, Clara Chukura, uh, Maureen Iwa, and. It's a big one. Yeah, uh, some other uh, high flying artists. So it is by every definition of the word a high budget movie. Sure. And of course, we shot. Uh, on location, on federal capital uh, territory, Abuja. So that tells you that... Uh, so you're looking close to about 15 million? Uh, maybe not 15, maybe not 15, <laughs> but definitely... Somebody told me, honestly, somebody told me that you did, uh, is it 12.5 or 13.5 you guys did? Uh, that was what informa the information we got. Uh, yes, uh, before post, before post, because during the post I was not uh, in the country, so I don't, before post we had done about 8.5, before post, yeah. That's a large one, that's good. And um, um, in the course of your shoot, what were your problems like? Your challenges, I don't like using that word, problems. Okay, uh, of course every movie, every new script comes with its own uh, challenge. But the fact that you had uh, the lead character playing a dual role was in itself a major challenge, particularly because uh, Genevieve in that movie was playing two opposing characters. One was the very domiciled uh, housewife, the other was a wild club girl. So there are times we have to spend hours trying to make up and make down to remake up for the next uh, scene, character. Yeah and all that, that uh, ate uh, a whole lot of uh, time. Uh, time. Uh, of course, we had other issues like, uh, you see, we are still in that state in Nollywood where we have to approach people to shoot in their homes and all, all of that. So uh, I remember this very incident when the wife of our host came back one day and said, you see, this is why I don't like Nigerians. Nigerians are just very, very uh, dishonest. How can you tell me you are shooting one movie? You begged, you came here to beg me that you wanted to shoot a movie. Now I'm sure you have shot almost four movies in my life. <laughs> because, <laughs> because that was our fifth day, and she couldn't understand that a movie, movie. of two hours was <laughs> what we have been shooting for the past uh, five days. I said, Madam, we are still going to some other houses to shoot this same movie of, of uh, two hours. <laughs> That was that was an issue uh, because at, at the point she said, "That's it. I've had enough. You guys must go." And you know what that means. Uh, we were not done. And if we, if, if she had uh, uh, went ahead with a threat to discharge us, it, it would have meant her having to source some other location and start all over again. <laughs> so that was a major issue. But we thank God we weathered through. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you shot two movies. <laughs> Asked me, you begged me to. I wanted to shoot a movie in my house. Now I should do almost five movies. <laughs> but I've been just one with you. Please let them come another time again. If you really want to know what's happening in Nollywood, if you really want to find out what's going on, legends of Nollywood, Paulo Basile and his crew, they're out of sight.
legends of Nollywood. A celebration of Africans best. For advert placement, contact the marketing manager. Royal Pictures Limited. Three a day only to be requested. Sulere, Lagos. Telephone 080-231-30220. Legends of Nollywood. A celebration of Africans best. Uh, um, uh, let, let's do it like this. Uh, how were you able to manage um, uh, the stars you had on your on your um, location, uh, Genevieve, uh, and DOP and um, and um, Maureen Iwa? How did you how did you do it? Yeah, uh, by God's grace, artist management has never been one of the problems I have ever had in the course of uh, movie making. Uh, perhaps the reason is because of my training. I am very, uh, in the course of my training, uh, McGregor's theory X and Y was always a recurrent decima in uh, uh, artist management. I, I believe that every human being has a way he or she wants to be approached. So it is left for you as a director to know this person and know how he or she wants to be dealt with. So once, and I do not also believe in the philosophy that uh, the director is Alpha and Omega, uh, some big man that you cannot reach. No, uh, if you carry on like that, you are going to prize yourself far up above your artist and you make yourself uh, unreachable and that will create problems of communication. So what I do always is to come down to everybody's level, to listen to my artists, to hear the, their suggestions. Of course, it does not necessarily mean that I must take the all of them. Because yeah. Before I left my house, I already have what it should the plan, final yeah. destination of this dramatic enterprise. I know where it is going and where it will end. So the suggestions I buy are those that will aid that journey, not the sort that will or the journey, or the ready process, yes. Okay, um, you guys have made your money back, right? Well, we thank God. We thank God. Uh, I, without missing words, caught in the act is one, perhaps, the highest selling movie, particularly in the US, ever. Yeah. The guy that sold the movies in the US, we've received uh, lots and lots of gifts from him. He said, since he's been selling Nigerian movies, he's never had it that good. Nothing. Mother, all I'm trying to say is that I'm still married to my wife. Don't listen to me, Michael. And you listen good. I have never been hard on you. But this time around, I want you to realize that on this issue, my stand is resolute. You must take another wife. Okay. All right. Okay, mom. Right. Okay. And Michael? Legends of Nollywood. A celebration of Africans' best. For advert placement, contact the marketing manager. Royal Pictures Limited. Three a day only to be requested. Sulere, Lagos. Telephone 080-231-30220. Legends of Nollywood. A celebration of Africans' best. So, how did you people overcome pirates? Highly regrettable that uh, the Nigerian producer is left as such a helpless state that uh, he has to compete with pirates uh, in the open market. It, it is sad. Uh, I'm not sure we, we overcame pirates, if I should use that word. Uh, we competed with them. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps we're just lucky that uh, those that were willing to buy our own original copy <laughs> were more than those that were willing to patronize the pirates. Uh, it's sad, really, it's sad that we have to laugh over something that is as grievous as uh, pirates. We want to call on the Nigerian government to please, please, please save this industry. Save in this industry by helping to combat piracy. Uh, we believe that government has the might 
to combat piracy and bring it to a minimal uh, uh, and bearable level. Uh, I don't, well, other industries across the world, yes, uh, piracy is almost uh, something that you cannot completely eradicate, but you can bring it to uh, such a, a, a minimal level that the producer uh, does not have to compete with criminals. In, in, in the course of uh, uh, recouping his investment. So, uh, we believe that uh, many people in the industry have been sent home prematurely, uh, have, have left the business prematurely because of what piracy has done to uh, their investments. So, to that extent, uh, piracy is an issue that uh, uh, calls for very serious attention. Viewers, you heard government you heard. Let me give um, um, a vivid description of what happens to us. Nollywood is described as or seen as a young lady that is accosted by hoodlums and is raped repeatedly without a condom and at the end of the act is spat on and kicked. Nollywood as a young lady, is treated with disdain and ignoring. And yet we have people, men and women in authority that can actually help us stamp this thieves, this menace, these people who are ungodly from the pit of hell. We have men in authority that can really write what is plaguing us. If you have conscience, be a true Nigerian. Help us fight. Let's fight. <clears throat> Let me ask you one question. If we ask you to come back on this uh, program, would you come back? Oh, sure. Uh, I mean, uh, I feel, to start with, I feel very honored that, uh, because if you hear the name of the program, Legends of Nollywood, uh, someone like me uh, would shrink as I did when I got the call that I have been selected to appear on the program. I said, Legends of Nollywood. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> Ordinary me like this. So, uh, every opportunity to be here is uh, such that uh, I'll gladly grab. Because, one, this is a program that gives voice to those filmmakers, particularly those of us that are behind the camera. Well, I don't know if I if I qualify <laughs> to <laughs> count myself as one of those behind the camera because uh, lately I've been very active in front of the camera. So, but then uh, what I'm saying is, in essence, is that uh, I feel very honored to be here. The opportunity to be here some other time. Uh, viewers, you heard him. He will jump at the opportunity. Now, you know, traditionally we we do ask um, our special guests here. Um, uh, three pertinent uh, questions. We, uh, we request that they do three pertinent things. One, speak to their team in farm, uh, fans. Two, talk to the nation called Nigeria. Three, talk to Nigerians. Uh, there is nothing I have today that I did not receive. And um, of course, acting and uh, rely heavily on God's grace upon my life. I have received everything I have today from the love that I enjoy from my fans. Without you, there will be no me. I, something very instructive I learned from a very senior colleague years ago, Kanayo Okanayo, when he said that I am a celebrity today because my fans celebrate me. The day they cease to celebrate me, I'll cease to be a celebrity. So, because I do not want to cease to be a celebrity, I will always, always give my love out to you there, my fans, because you have made me what I am today. God bless you all. To Nigeria as a nation, a people without a direction are like the seaweed at the mercy of the tide knowing not where it's going nor where it's coming from. And that is not the kind of nation that we want Nigeria to be. I want to appeal to those of our leaders whose responsibility it is to make those laws, to create those policies that will move this nation forward. We do not have any other country but this. Therefore, we are appealing to you that 
do that which posterity, which history would ever, ever put you on the good side uh, of, the, of, uh, of the books, if, if I should put it like that. Do that thing that will place you on the right side of the people and what the, uh, the nation needs to move her forward. If we continue to do the things we have done over the years, relying on politics, acting on uh, political alliances and what have you, we only will be getting the same results and those results have not gotten us anywhere till date. Therefore, we must do things differently to take us to a different height as a nation. As a people? Nigerians, uh, they say every people, all kinds of people that you have get the kind of leadership that they deserve. They say those who are not good followers cannot become good leaders. So as followers, we must follow by example. We must do those things that are right, for which our leaders will be proud of us and will be motivated to do those things that will benefit us. You don't need anyone to stop you at a traffic uh, light junction when the light says red. You don't need anyone to force you to stop. I mean, those are the things that make us a civilized community, which I think we are. So please, Nigerians, let's love our, our brothers as we love ourselves. Let's show our leaders some love and give opportunity for peace to reign. Truly, united we stand, divided we fall. You know, I know you people will be wondering, Nollywood people, are they now politicians? Are they now? Pastors, are they now reverends, are they now preachers? No, we are not. We are a people who are saddled with the responsibility of putting this nation together. We are a people whose business it is to beat us into shape and showcase us to the world and tell the world that truly we are called by the Almighty God. This is the best nation on the planet of this earth, the richest nation you can ever think of. And sometimes I wonder why we live below poverty um, um, uh, line. I don't understand it, but the truth still remains that if you are listening to what Charles is saying, you will find out that because we have become lawless and reckless, and therefore we live uh, the poverty uh, uh, life we are living. But I ask you today, if truly you are a good follower, then the leaders will lead us well, because it is from followership we get a, a leadership. I, I like I used to tell you, I am not a pastor, I am not a preacher, but my duty is to tell us how uh, people see us and what we ought uh, to do. Uh, the filmmaker has done his best. The filmmaker has portrayed the society how it is. The society ought to look up and react and become a better place. Until I come your way, same station, same time next week, I beg you in the name of the Almighty God, that man you want to destroy, that woman you want to destroy, that girl you are leading astray, that gang you have just joined, that you want to commit the crime you want to commit, don't do it because God is watching you and you do not know if this is the last time you operate in that act. Turn away from that thing. Embrace God. Like you are my friend and I am your friend. I am your brother. I tell you these three things. Fear the Almighty God. Love your wife. Cherish your husband. Defend the nation called Nigeria. If you don't do these things, nobody will do it for you. Bye bye. Legends of Nollywood. 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 Watch Legends of Nollywood and celebrate the pioneers of this great industry that has brought so much joy and so much happiness to the lives of many millions of people in Nigeria. Legends of Nollywood, a celebration of Africans' best.